Ellie Beach and more specifically Abel Point Marina act as a gateway to the Whitsundays. Abel Point is one of the largest marinas in the Southern Hemisphere and owner Paul Darazet sees a huge future for the area with the marina at the heart of the area's tourist activity. Ellie Beach, gateway to the Whitsundays, a tropical paradise. I've been around the world many times and uh, it's as good if not better than than the, the West Indies, the Western Med, the Eastern Med. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. It's just the premier arrival and destination point for, for 74 islands and uh, it's got a lot of attractions itself. There's golf courses, driving ranges, there's tourism walks, Conway National Park. There's a hell of a lot to do here. And of course, the seventh wonder of the world is the reef. What was once seen as a haven for international backpackers, Airlie Beach has since matured into a more sophisticated holiday market. It's seen as a backpacker's paradise, but it's really funny because there are about 20 to 25 percent of the visitor numbers here are backpackers. The rest are a lot of people in the grey army, as you call them. They're big, uh, young married people are big as well, and yachtings, yeah. So it, there, there's a far more diverse range of visitors to Early Beach than people actually think. With over 1,000 competitors in town for the race, the regatta is big business for Early Beach. A lot of people see it as the precursor to Hamilton Island, but it's a big race week in itself. It's the largest regatta in mainland Australia. The trade winds are normally 10 to 15 knots south easterly for four months during the year here, so the festival of sailing takes advantage of that. There's a lot of activity uh, around the place and a lot of people come in for it. For instance, uh, out there behind me now we have uh, 110 boats uh, with seven or eight people on each boat, so there's a thousand uh, Big spending tourists hit the, uh, hit the town for a week and then they're off to Hamilton Island and then off to Magnetic Island. So it's a, it's a real festival atmosphere. Darazet sees a close link between the marina and the health of the local economy. We want to connect the community to this marina. We're the largest employer in the district by a long way. Uh, and if you've looked at uh, the number of people that stay on the yachts that are in the marina or out of the marina each night, uh, we're the largest hotel in the area as well. They bring real, real money into the town and they're overseas dollars normally. With tourism to the Whitsundays continuing to grow, Darazet is excited about the future and he's backing this faith with a large investment in infrastructure. We're revamping all of the physical infrastructure of the place and most importantly once the physical infrastructure is all in place, with that is a really, really serious uplift in our service standards. And if we can increase our occupancy, there'll be a lot more boats in here and a lot more people employed and a lot more activity.